Hi guys, Jimmy here. Really hope you are well. Welcome to video 18, I believe it is, of my 100 day Internet Lifestyle Network video challenge. Now if it's not 18, I apologise, but I've completely lost track of, of what day it is here. Now if you've not seen any of my previous videos, I just want to very quickly give you a very spinny tour of where we're at now. This is the view that we've had for the past few days, um, which as you can see is something pretty spectacular. We had a gazelle drinking out of the pool earlier. Um, now let me just turn you around so you can see like the little decking area, the tent, and then we had uh, lunch room service delivered as well, which was nice. But anyway, today's video is something that is really important, certainly into business and into a lot of people's um, kind of methodology. This is the reason why a lot of people don't start. Now, what is it? It's fear. Now, I watched a film on the flight coming over called After Earth. Now. It had pretty bad reviews, but I kind of into sci-fi and that sort of stuff anyway, so I thought, well, I'll sit and watch it, I'm going nowhere else. And there was something in there that really resonated with me. Now, this isn't really a spoiler alert, but the reason it's called After Earth is basically a lot of people on the Earth had died because these aliens had put these animals on and all the animals killed the humans before the humans escaped to some other planet. But what they managed to do was find out that the reason these animals could see people is because these people were scared because they had fear and once they were able to overcome their fears and not have any fear then they were basically invisible to these aliens and it stars Will Smith and his son I can't remember his name I think it's Jared whatever he wasn't very good but anyway um, it talks about when you realize that fear is an emotion of something that hasn't or might not even happen so it hasn't happened yet and it might not even happen and it's an Im and it's a illogical response to something that hasn't happened yet now that's all bordering on insanity if you really think about it that you're if you're scared of something and you have fear of it you're scared of something that hasn't even happened yet and it might never happen now that's not to be con con um, confused with kind of alertness and awareness and and being mindful of a situation there's a difference um, but being scared of something and fearful of something is quite, quite, well, it's important. And people certainly translating that into business. A lot of people don't start their own business. They don't start in network marketing. They don't start in online advertising. They don't start in anything, even getting a new job or, you know, whatever it is, because they are scared of what might happen. They are scared of failure. Just think about that for a second. I've, I've spoken to a lot of people in the past and they're given some you know ridiculous excuses why they don't want to start or whatever but ultimately I know it's down to their fear and that they are scared to even give it a go so what I want you today is I want you to seriously think about your emotions in business now emotions in business is a good thing because you need to be passionate you need to be excited but the negative emotions you need to control because it's those emotions that then overtake you and affect your judgment they affect your ability to perform correctly and perform at peak now the video was about fear and think about when ne when you're next confronted with a situation be it in business be it a business de decision or if you're gonna zip wire across you know, you know the Arab desert of, of Dubai or whatever but think about that be that be quite cool but think about the emotional response and you're scared of something that hasn't even happened yet and it might never happen Guys, I hope that four minutes with it was worth of value. If you've not yet seen the film, it's called After Earth. It stars Will Smith. And certainly for, for that kind of breakdown of psychology, it was certainly worth an hour and a half of my time watching it on the flight over here. So I hope you're well. I hope things are going well. If they're not, please get in touch. But as usual, uh, hit subscribe on the top because it really helps my channel grow. And I really appreciate the uh, subscribers. Hit me a comment below or hit me a like if you found that, uh, that my message about fear has been of value. But whatever you do, I hope you are well and I'll certainly see you guys in the next chapter. Thanks and bye for now.